You s- It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do, so we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax, the coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection... What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've... always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <laughs> Sorry, I... Didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. Hey, so, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah, sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village. Don't you think? Uh, Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <coughs> Crap! Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Renwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is. All I see is snow. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle! Whew. Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. That's quite a relief. Hmm. <sighs> Enemies who can cast Astral Arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt Astral Arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. 
So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. <sighs> hey. <laughs> hey. No. <sighs> Yes. Great. Huh? Huh? <sighs> Messia two two four. Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. Huh? Hey. Uh. Sure. <sighs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Ah. Hmm? Hey. What? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Oh? Okay. Good. Okay. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Using Zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up with it before the occupation. That's for sure. You're the friends of that man the Bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. <sighs> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? 
Sisloden. The capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Sisladin has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet. You're trying to get us all killed. Out to hell with that. Go on, report me. See if I care. I thought this Sisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many Snake Eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Sisloden it is. one of Hoodle's friends. People are really terrified of the Snake Eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Ganabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Sisloden. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with them on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Sisloden anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zugals? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs, led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us, then. The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. Rinwell, if you get injured, just let Xion know, okay? I only have one pair of hands, you know. <sighs> Xion. Could we talk a moment? And here I was, thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? No, no, nothing like that. Then if it's all the same to you, 
I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I don't know, I just... I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Then if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. <laughs> Didn't get it, huh? I think it's time we go to sleep. How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating, if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> as soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them, and see how it goes. Come on, guys. We've got lots to So this is the forest team with Zoogles you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or were too late and the strays got to them first. Do you say every thought out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Don't worry, Hoodle. It's okay. I can barely see enough to take two steps forward without bumping into something. Yeah. I'll have to be careful not to miss anything coming from off the path. This is nothing. When things get real bad around here, you can get lost without even realizing it.
It's freezing. I can barely feel my toes. Let's find a way back up quickly, then. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. could easily see us getting lost here while we're trying to find Zephyr. I get this is supposed to connect the capital to the villages. Why has it got to be so winding? And not only that, why are there so many Zoogles walking around? I think they're used as lookouts. The Renans know how to control them. Complaining's not going to get us anywhere. Let's just get through this and be on our way. I found some equipment. Hey, Rinwell. Do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later.
bad feeling about this. Try it, come on, come on! You are in tip top two. As soon as I'm done here, come help out. How could a girl ever say no? These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more public. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. This is what we were asked to get, wasn't it? What's wrong? Huh? I guess. <laughs> Got it. For real? We've got company, and not the nice kind either. Rimwell, get back! And miss all the action? Who do you take me for? Out of our way! It's a big target, at least. Don't underestimate its speed. More for the stockpile! These ones take more drinks around here! Go for the weak point! Magic is am! Crowd play! They're surrounding us! They're surrounding us! First aid! It's over! In here! I'm only getting started! Now! Magic is am! Don't escape my judgment! Tidal wave! Infernal forest! Ray! Try this! My master is raging cascade! Try this! Inferno Forest! Now! 
it freely. Take it down. I'm not done. Okay, Rinwell? Uh, I'm fine. Did all of this?
Who was that guy? Do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for? Ganabelt? I doubt a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone. Besides, what business would a Renan have with killing Zoogles? Now that I look at it, it was a good call staying out of his way, I think. Look at this. He took them out with a single slice. This guy's no amateur. <laughs> you okay? Uh, oh, um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely doesn't seem to be a friend, that's for sure. Hopefully we don't run into him again.